So I want to continue about batteries. So my suggestion is in order to find the real capacity is first to fully charge the battery and just then do a discharge and the discharge will measure the real capacity. I will use this very wide wire in order to connect because the wires that came with the P6 are not good and there is a lot of loss after measuring them. So I will connect it to 18 uh, 650 house and now I will take one of the cells that I've already uh, took out from the bike electrical bike let me just find a cell that is already cut out okay I will use this one you can cut it like this is no problem while measuring it the voltage on the cell is only half volt and I'm almost sure that this cell can be revived meaning of revived it will be fully functional I don't know about the actual capacity that it will hold but I'm sure that it will be more than okay so in order to understand the sequence I will measure now the voltage on the cell and show it so you will be able to see the voltage. So you can see my fluke and now I'm measuring and there is less than 1 volt, 0.8. So now I will power up the B6 and now I will show what to do so if I'm applying voltage so you will see that we can't actually charge the cell so there are a few messages in order to overcome the problem okay so I will put it in the house and I will change the setting to lithium lithium cell lithium ion and then I will do a charge so let's try to do the charge battery check low voltage so this is the reason that it can charge because it measures that this is not lithium so to overcome this problem what you need to do is to change it to nickel metal hybrid charge and then for example one amp and now it is charging because nickel metal hybrid is charged even if the cell voltage is low so it will now force in a voltage on the battery so now we are charging it with one amp it is charging pretty fast which is not a good thing not a good sign the sign is that the capacity of this battery is pretty low and now after applying let's say about higher than 3.2 volts we'll stop it and we'll move again to a lithium ion charge so I will show how to do it so now by the way, if you can see it is stopping the charge and then measuring the voltage in order to detect which cell it is. Uh, if the cell is okay, so now I will stop it and move back to lithium ion. So now we'll go to higher current charge, one cell of course, this is one cell, and now it is starting okay because after applying the first charge so now the B6 IMAX B6 uh, can recognize the battery as lithium cell and now it will do uh, the charge like in the setting the setting usually is 4.2 volts is the 
maximum voltage and this is the way when it is stopping to force the charge or uh, let's say doing a cut off and also when discharging usually the voltage for lithium ion is 2.5 volts and if it is lower so it is doing a cut off so now we are doing a, a full charge I will fully charge it is a good thing when you are uh, doing a lithium charge always to be aside and uh, know about the safety of lithium in this case for example you can measure if the cell is hot if it is totally cold so basically there is no issue about it one more thing that I want to show the, the voltage that you are measuring at the cell itself and at the end of the cable is not the same because there is a loss especially if charging with high current one amp is not really high but it's not too low so I will show you what I mean I will measure the voltage on the cell itself I can do it let's say here so let's see the actual voltage here you can see 3.49 and on the other end just a second three point five three three point five four and here again three point five one this loss is minimal because I'm using a very wide wires and the wire here are very short if you will lose the IMAX B6 uh, wires that you got with the charger you will see totally different things and you will see a loss of more than 100 millivolt if you're using one amp with the charge this is the reason that I've disconnected uh, the original wire and connected my own wires and not the ones that came so we will now see the we saw that the battery was totally discharged and then we moved to nickel metal hybrid for a few seconds and now we can measure the real uh, capacity and I will show you that after discharge the capacity of the charge and the capacity of the discharge are different and the accurate one is of course the discharge because this is the actual capacity uh, that was uh, taken out of the cell so this is the real the real uh, capacity that you can keep in mind and not the one that was delivered while charging so the discharge is the actual so I will stop now the camera wait it for finishing and then we'll do in a discharge and see what we get and that's all for now so thank you here is Dr. Battery you can call me with a lot of many years of testing batteries bye so as expected the battery is uh, almost okay it is holding about more than 70% of its original capacity it is almost stopped because the current is very low now so uh, I will now do a discharge let us assume that it can go up to uh, 1600 milliampere hour so now we will do a discharge and find out what we see so now we will do a discharge at one amp to find the real capacity just remember that it was a charge to 1600 milliampere per hour so let's now do the discharge you can see that it will discharge the battery till uh, 3 volt because below 3 volts uh, we have a problem 
below 2.5 uh, this is the minimum uh, that we allow to discharge because if we discharge to lower voltage it may harm the battery and uh, it will affect uh, the life of the battery and uh, if you want to keep your cells let's say at storage and uh, you're not going to use them for a long time so I suggest to charge them up to maximum 3.6 volts you don't want to be at the higher maximum rate and you don't want to be at too low voltage to harm the battery so 3.6 uh, I think it is the best for storage of uh, the batteries lithium cells I'm talking about lithium that are not lithium FE. Lithium FE uh, are working at lower voltage. Uh, so I'm talking about lithium ion, IMR battery, and all kind of lithium that are maximum voltage at uh, 4.2 volts. So now let's do this discharge, and we will see that we have different reading. Uh, then uh, was the charge because of the loss of energy in heating wires a battery that is uh, getting hot while it is charged and many reasons that might affect the real capacity so now we'll find the real capacity of the battery and We'll soon check what it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is the real capacity. The real capacity is 1441 milliamps, while the charging was 1600. This is the reason that you have to measure it in this way to get the real capacity of any battery hope you find this uh, video useful uh, you can subscribe also uh, send a link with all the information to others that might be interested and thank you and bye bye